Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Decaffeinated. My name is Kistabura and today we'll be taking a look at Titan Souls, or to be specific, the demo of Titan Souls. Not Titan Souls has been described as a 16-bit mixture of Shadow of the Colossus and Dark Souls, which you could have gleaned from the title yourself. It will be released on the 14th of April and, um, well, let's take a look, shall we? Alright, so the basic idea is that you have to kill or destroy a number of bosses. The final game will have 18 bosses, but we'll just have a look at three of the earlier bosses in this demo. Well, let's see what we got here. So, you only got one weapon. So, uh, your one single cute little error, and there we go. As you can see, the game's not as easy as I'd have liked. There you go again. Dodge all of the things. Yeah, so you have to hit him in the eye, but it's not as easy as it looks. Keep running, my little friend. No, no. Oh, we'll get there, you guys. Well, next time. Bring it, you bitch. So they make use of 3D for these bosses, which is quite cute. That uh, makes for a nice effect, and 16-bit uh, still allows for very smooth uh, controls and uh, movement. As you can see, the roll is at a fairly large range, which makes dodging, you know, a reasonable job. Although these enemies move at a alarming rate. And what just happened to it? Why is it all distorted? And we go down again. Bring it, bring it, bring it! We will conquer over you, you twerp. Well, this is only the first of three bosses, but uh, the other two aren't any easier, so hope you've got your, some time. How? That didn't hit us? <laughs> Lucky. Uh huh. Well. Die! Also, by holding the shoot button, you can uh, withdraw your arrow. So, even though you only have one arrow, you can use it repeatedly. Otherwise, this game would be practically impossible. Not like it isn't already. But. Not this time. This time, though, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, you guys. So the mechanics aren't actually difficult to understand, but it's more about the reflexes, which is far more Dark Souls-like. But overall, I believe these bosses are more reminiscent of Zelda bosses with clearly hide it to weak spots and such. I right, just draw Yara back in. There you go, you son of a bitch. We might be tiny, we might be short, and our hair might be purple, but we are still stronger than you. Uh, little eyeball in a box. And now we're going Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan! Well, that didn't do much. Hop, 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 bye bye. Let's see what's next. Run, run. So another fun little thing is that by holding the roll button after you roll, you'll be able to uh, run, spread, and we don't really have a stamina meter or anything, so it's better to just hold that button, roll around a bit. The rolling is very important, as you might have noticed. These bosses are very quick and uh, very unpredictable. I haven't been able to detect a very clear pattern, even if they don't only want one or two things. It's the way they randomly combine these movements that makes them unpredictable. Hurrah! 
Ah, uh, this seems to be the golem. Now, you might have already been able to see his weak spot, the little purple eye there. Not gonna be that easy because he keeps blocking it with one hand. I need to wait for him to leave a little opening between the two hands. And then hit him with that. But it takes some uh, predicting and a little luck to uh, shoot it just as he starts to move the second hand out and pull the uh, other first hand in. So you can hit him right in between those gaps. Now, of course, after you shoot, you have to draw the arrow back in so you can actually make use of every opportunity. But there we go. And down he goes. That's the second one. You know, for a lot of white orbs, they don't seem to do much to us. We didn't suddenly grow abs or anything of the kind, but um, we do look handsome while we're bursting with white light. Very fitting with Eastern. Right, now he's back to sleep, but he won't be waking up this time. Bye bye. So, what's next? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's a bit of a brainiac. But, um, you'll see soon enough. Come on, my little friend. Run faster. You can do it. Whoop. Also nice that you can see your own shadow through these uh, little pillars. Or it might be difficult to negotiate the environment. So it's all very well designed. A lot better than the beta that came out a couple of months ago, even though that already got a pretty good reception at PAX East. Alright, so let's take a look at this watery temple here. What did I tell you? Bit of a brainiac. You do actually have to hit him though. Let's do it. So, this one's pretty easy to predict movement-wise. The brain lights up in purple when it starts to or, or, no, prepares to move. So, gauging how he's going to move isn't that difficult because he'll always try to sm smash you. So, the basic gist of it is make him slide over one of the pedals with a flame on him, and when he does so, stand on the other side and hit him with a flaming arrow, like so. And now, that's all you gotta do. That's a pretty straightforward boss as well. Oh, here we go again, Super Saiyan mode, make that brain feel it. Oh, smart now, you sick son of a bitch. We were put a brain in an ice cube and thought that was a good idea. I, I quite like the design of the bosses here as well. Pretty original for a little indie title. Could would be straight at home, at a in a Zelda title, at least some of it would be. Maybe the floating brain would be a little too um, gory for the average Zelda player. Well, it's not like that's that immature, but there you go. And let's see what's up next. All the way up top. So. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, I know, it's a struggle a little bit. Back down you go. Pow! Sorry, had to do that. Had to be done. Just a few more. Alright, let's just take him up to savor this climactic ending, you guys. We're all expecting it. Hold your breath. Here it comes. Oh my god. That's so ominous. Take my steel!
And there you go. Full games coming out on April 14th for more Let's Plays. Check out the FM bot for now. We're out.